Okay, so what we're going to do is I want to find the complementary and supplementary angle of uh, pi over 12. So remember, first thing we need to know is where the heck is pi over 12, right? So let's look back on a circle here and let's take a look. Remember, circle we have halfway around is pi radians, all the way around is 2 pi. And if we start going nowhere, we're at 0, all right? So over here, my angle is only 1 pi over 12. Right, because you can put a 1 in front of there. So that means I've only gone 1 12th of the way to get to pi because 12 pi over 12, right? 12 pi over 12 is just still equal to pi, which is right there. So that means I need to get 12 of them to get all the way over here. Now, it's not really relevant, but we can know that we're going to be dealing in the first quadrant where pi over 12 is. So to find the complementary angle, remember, complementary angle is going to be the angle. When added to pi over 12, that's going to make pi over 2. Or back in the day, we used to say the two um, angles that add up to give you 90 are going to be complementary. So what I'm going to do is if I say, well, halfway around is going to be pi over 2, if I take pi over 2, because remember, two complementary angles add to give you pi over 2, or 90 degrees. So pi over 2 minus pi over 12 is going to equal my angle theta that will be complementary to pi over 12. So now I need to get these to be the same denominator. So to get them to be the same denominator, you got to get this to be, you got to find the common denominator, which would be 12. So that means you're going to multiply by 6 over 6. So what I end up happening is having 6, 12, 6 pi over 12 minus pi over 12 equals theta. Therefore, the complementary angle to pi over 12 is going to be 5 pi over 12. So there you go. That's how you find complementary angles. However, supplementary is what angle plus pi over 12 is going to give me 180 degrees. So now we do the same thing, but now I'm going to say pi minus of 1 12th is going to equal me this angle, right? pi all the way around minus this angle or minus this angle is going to leave me with my remaining angle. So again, we need to get this to be our denominator. So pi over 1, get that to be common denominator. I'll multiply by 12 over 12. Therefore, I have 12 pi over 12 minus pi over 12, which equals pi over 12. No, that's wrong. 11 pi over 12. So therefore, the complementary angle of pi over 12 is 5 pi over 12. And the supplementary angle of pi over 12 is 11 pi over 12. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you find complementary and supplementary angles. Uh, remember, complementary angles add up to 90 or a pi over 2. And supplementary angles add up to 180 or, in this term, pi. Thanks.